Today, we're checking out Rick and Morty, Big Trouble in Little Sanchez. Listen, if you want to check out my reaction to the entire episode, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. What's new at school? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, uh, one of the lunch ladies died. They found her in the gym with like two holes in her neck and all the blood drained out of her. Good lord. Oh Who my does God. something like that? Obviously a vampire. W w where's the pepper? Wait, what? Vampires are real? Yes, Summer. Vampires are real. Who knew? Oh, right. All humanity for hundreds of years now. Yes, Summer. It's a big universe. Get used to it. Right, Rick? <laughs> well, what are we going to do? We're going to live our lives until we die. Possibly by vampire. More likely auto accident or heart disease, but possibly vampire. Grandpa Rick. Couldn't you, like, use your super knowledge to turn yourself into a teenager and come to our school and help us hunt the vampire down? Here's my reverse ask. Why in the f would I ever do that, ever? And how dare you even ask me that? And why aren't you more ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Bro, Rick does not play. I keep saying it over and over again, but that's why I rock with him, because he does not care. He's going to tell you exactly how it is, whether he hurts your feelings or not. You feel me? That's a you problem. And they got nothing to do with Rick. Let's get it. Dad? Be ashamed of yourself, sweetie. Jerry, do you know what you just said to our daughter? Sorry. I wasn't paying attention. To a conversation about vampires? Clearly, I didn't know it was about vampires because I wasn't paying attention, which you would know if you ever paid attention to me. Oh, here we go. Right to the victim role. Am I a victim, Beth? Or am I married to a mean, unfair monster that always hurts me? Jesus Christ. Will you f Oh, my God, bro. I would hate to live in that household. The bickering, you know what I'm saying? Always going back and forth, ugh. Fix your marriage or get a divorce already? I know about a place off planet with 100% success rate. Well, we want to make it work if we can. 100% success rate? Bro, why are y'all still talking? Y'all should be on his ship now on your way there. I booked you for a two day intensive at Nuptia 4, the galaxy's most successful couples counseling institute. They could save the marriage of a dog and a bar of dark chocolate. They could save the marriage of a star and a star. Well, I know I'm ready to try whatever it takes. Which clearly implies that I'm not. It's not a competition, Ben. Oh, is that how you're going to try to win by implying I'm competitive? If the shoe fits. My shoe fits up your. You wish. <laughs> okay, have fun. See you Thursday. Oh. <laughs> Ejecto Cito, cuz he did not want to deal with that anymore, bro. Listen, I understand both parties. My man's is over here throwing shade. You feel me? Because he feels a certain way. And then she's picking up on the on the shade that he's throwing. So she responds. Nobody's being the bigger person. Nobody's trying to understand. You feel me? They're not even they're not they're not even trying to listen to each other. You feel me? Jerry, go ahead and sit there and put this on. This machine isolates the part of the subject's brain containing all perceptions of its romantic partner. And we will now render Jerry's perception of Beth with artificial biological life. This is gonna be bad, ain't it? I knew it, bro! It's a big monster! What the hell is that? Take that back! You do not think that about me! I didn't do anything! They scanned it out of my brain! Can I take it back? There's nothing to regret. I mean, is he lying though, bro? Like, she just tried to punk him into taking back what his subconscious thinks of her. Like, he doesn't even, he doesn't have control over that, you feel me? That's just how his body, his mind reacts to the thought of her. Scary. Really scary. Now, we scan for best perceptions of Jerry. Scan hard. He's dead to me. Everything's dead to you. What? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> read it and weep. Does everybody oh see what God. I mean? I think we all see what you both mean. Yup, yup, yup. She's evil. He's soft. You know what I mean? He's not that protective man. Uh, lover, etc., and she's not that nurturing. That they're opposites. <gasps> what up, my Helsings? Oh! Who wants to hunt a <laughs> no, bro, no. Big to care about something so small. <gasps> what up, my Helsings? Who wants to hunt a vampire? <laughs> Rick, how, how did you? Yeah, I got bored, and then I remembered this morning how I blew summer off, and I thought, hey. 
Why are you such a grumpy trick? Go to the garage, transfer your mind into a younger clone of yourself, and get embroiled in some youthful hijinks. What's the BFD? So this here I dope. am. I'm Tiny this Rick. Hey, Toby. I'm Tiny Rick. I'm new. Hey, oh, go easy on me. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Hey, I like your straightforward style. And that lab coat's pretty cool. Summer. He knows my name! Why wouldn't he? You're great. But listen, just be careful. We can't rule anybody out as a vampire. Not even the dream boats. <laughs> Stop, Tiny Rick. Hunting a vampire with my grandkids! Tiny Rick! Oh my God. You may already be learning something important. All of these relationships are different. None of them are real, and none of them work. Uh, we can adapt. We can uh, we, gotta, we gotta see this one, bro. And most importantly, we can work together. Well, it was a tough adventure, but it paid off. Our school is vampire free. Man, who would have suspected Coach Ferrat to? You did great, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. You know, we we, we should be proud of ourselves. We got a vampire and a gym teacher. <laughs> Talk about two for one, right? So how? Bro, why didn't I, I would have much rather have seen how this went down than the interaction between um her parents monsters you know what i mean guess it's time for me to get back inside the old timer oh my god toby matthews is asking if my parents are still out of town if we can have a party all right way to go summer what did i tell you oh he's asking if tiny rick will be here well you know what summer tell him tiny rick will be here and tell him to bring some brews for real you y y you would stay as tiny rick just so we can have a party hell yeah what's one more night and who can have fun with this old Hanging around, huh? <laughs> lovey, lovey, doo -doo. Oh, tiny Rick! Is he gonna want to stay, Tiny Rick, because of like how dope the interaction between him and the kids are, and the fact that he's accepted um, by the rest of the kids in school? The Earth relationships are simpler. It's a primitive planet, so their dysfunctions are. Oh, what, wait, what? What's going on? Where are the Smith mythologues? They were just there, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Secure the cell. I thought they weren't real, bro. What the hell just happened? Uh, hey, you know what's fun? Our gift shop. Why don't we proceed in an orderly Oh my god. Oh dear god, no. They're working together though. That's the thing. They're codependent. Run! So they might not like each other, but they need each other. Hey, Tony Rick's playing guitar. All right, everybody. This next one's coming straight from the heart. Making the lyrics up right off the top of my head. Let me out. What you see is not the same person as me. My life's a lie. I'm not who you're looking at. Let me out. Set me free. I'm really old. This isn't me. My real body's slowly dying in a vat. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. Like, my man's just wearing his heart on his sleeve right now. And he's telling you, like, what he really feels. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not who you think I am. You know what I mean? Respect. Is anybody listening? Can anyone understand? Stop looking at me like that and actually help me. Help me. Help me. I'm going to die. Tiny Rick. <laughs> And nobody, nobody heard the message, bro. Everybody just vibed to the song. That's crazy. Rick! All right. Summer hurt. What the? F yeah, I know. What kind of operation are you running? Us? What the hell kind of relationship do you have? Oh, right. Blame this on us. Okay, uh, I can and I am. You have the single worst marriage I've ever witnessed. It shouldn't exist. You should never, ever, ever have gotten together, and I do not understand how or why you would ever stay together. Well, this is just bad couples therapy. Totally. They did the same exact thing that their creatures did. You feel me? They 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 might bump heads together, but at the end of the day is is them versus the world. You know what I mean? Toxic is hell, but they still they still they're still there for each other. Wait for us! 
There's only room for one more. I'm a therapist. I'll talk to them. They're not therapists. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> said i got to go you gotta understand why he did it you feel me like he's not trying to stay there it's gotta be a way to contact my dad let's find a control room or something beth you'll want to see this what is it it's a small hinged panel with a tiny amount of space behind it if you can find one too we should be safe for hours <laughs> maybe days <laughs> She's so fed up with his ish, bro. You stay put. Jerry, I'll send help if I make it. You don't want to find your own little hatch? Jerry, I believe that if you hide by yourself, you might survive. And I believe I, by myself, have a shot at getting out of here. But the two of us, together, I, I don't know. Look, maybe the shrink was right. Good luck. Oh, wow. All right, now you listen to me. Hey, don't! Please! Oh, God, oh, God. He's running from himself. Hey, what's up, Summer? Ooh, nice top. Thanks. Tiny Rick, you think it might be getting back into your old body tonight? No can do. Tonight's the big dance, and Morty's bringing Jessica. He needs his tiny wingman. Oh, uh, Tiny, tiny Rick! Rick. <laughs> okay, but if not tonight, when? I don't know. When I feel like it. Damn, girl! You need to chill out. This whole thing was your idea in the first place, and now you're trying to rush it along. Yeah, and you know what? I like high school. I like hanging out. Tiny Rick! But what if the you that likes it isn't you? Look at his art, Morty. I've got an emo streak. It's part of what makes me so rad. Why does it say, <laughs> help me, Morty and Summer? Oh, because the real him is crying out for help. The fact that you're old, the fact that we're all going to die one day, the fact that the universe is so big, nothing in it matters. Those facts are who you are. So you're trapped in there and you can only come out in the form of Tiny Rick's teen angst. Well, Summer, I hear Toby Matthews isn't into psycho chicks. Can't think of anyone that is. I'll see you at the dance, Tiny Rick! Tiny Rick! Wait, for real? You're how Beth sees me? Oh, oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> Why is he in that position? But bro, honestly, this might this might help homie out. Cause he's gonna be like, hold on, my my wife thinks I'm this soft pillow that can't protect her, has has zero man in him. You know what I'm saying? This could be a, a positive overall. I want to know where my wife is. You are going to help me. <laughs> no, nobody's doing that. <laughs> Stay. What do you want? Jerry's. Jerry? I don't even want Jerry. I want Jerry's. An army. <laughs> oh, wow. An army of Jerry's. Wouldn't it make more sense to put my dumb ass husband in this chair so you can make an army of your bad ass self? <laughs> there could never be more than one of me. I'm the strongest, smartest being alive because Jerry thinks you're that much stronger and smarter than you are. Let me out. Let me out. This is not a dance. I'm begging for help. I'm screaming for help. Please come let me out. Let, let me out. out. Let, let me out. out. This is not a dance. I'm begging for help. I'm screaming for help. Please come let me out. I'm dying. Bro, he's literally begging for help. Tiny Rick, hey, great dancing as usual. Moment of your time. Tiny Rick, this conversation is going to break my heart wide open. You're a great student. The fact that you're an 80-year-old man in a clone body it never bothered me. But this here's another matter. You recognize this? Oh, we had a tip shit. it was in your locker. Yeah, now because the gym coach was a vampire, the school board is embarrassed and won't take it public. However, they can't have students killing teachers. I gotta expel you for this one, TR. I'm sorry. But he, he, he helped y'all out, bro. Like, this vampire was probably gonna get everybody in the building. You feel me? And Tiny Rick came through clutch, did what he had to do. You don't got to expel him. Hey, Jerry lover. How about a taste of the real thing? Jerry! 
Okay, okay, okay. Not on my watch. That's what she thinks of him now. All right, all right, all right. Beth, it's me, your husband. I'm here to save you. Or my name isn't Jerry Smith. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Jerry Smith. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Say good night, old man. What the hell are you oh, doing? Put it down. <laughs> Summer, you talk to her that way she's your granddaughter i don't need a granddaughter i'm tiny rick i'm gonna do what real rick would do if he was here i'm gonna kick your ass Yay! rick i know you're in there i know oh. you're trying to get out that's it where do you hold him down listen to it tiny rick listen to elliot smith uh, no feel what he's feeling uh, no god is this gonna work Damn, bro. Jerry, you can't bend metal. Then make a me that can. How can I do that while I'm watching you totally fail to bend metal? Good old Beth. The mind of a robot and the heart of an insect. Don't talk that way about her. What? Oh, my God. This representation displeases me. Good lord, how did you... Well, I had a feeling that in your mind, the ideal version of me is one smart enough to see you as... a goddess. Hey. Not such a stupid worm now, are you? Honey, when it comes to the subject of your ego, I'm Stephen Hawkinson. Ugh, it's... never mind. Right. I love you. <laughs> Rats! Holy shit. She Thanks, kids. You figured it out. Well, Summer did. Kind of weird that you were that willing to sell my existence out for some trim, Morty. Pets! But listen, I forget. Whose body is that then, bro? Like, the hair is a lot longer than what it was when his body was in it. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Oh! Oh man, I gotta pick up your parents. They have been blowing me up. One last swing for the roof. Ah, for the love of God, wow. get dressed. Oh. It did work. 100% guaranteed to work, right? Aha, you see? What did I tell you to? It worked. You know what, Rick? I guess in a way, maybe. Already lost interest. Get in the car. I've been inside a kid all day, and now I can feel my bones scraping each other. Uh, so you're still naked. There's a bunch of dead me's in the garage. Huh. Sounds like our stories were connected by a theme. <laughs> Not really, Jerry. Probably a cosmetic connection. Your mind mistakes for thematic. Oh. Old Rick ruining everything! Master, speak. Coach Ferratu's presence was discovered by the humans. He has been destroyed. No bother. The mortal shall sin. I'm sorry, what did you say his name was? Coach Ferratu. Coach Ferratu. That was his real name. Like his actual vampire name? No, no, no. His vampire name was Balak Alistain. What the fuck would he name himself after a famous vampire movie? Was he doing a bit? I do not know, Your Unholiness. Jesus. Christ, from now on, no more of this clever name bullshit. When a vampire is pretending to be a human, they can just call themselves Alan Jefferson or something like that. It's crazy, right? I mean, am I being an Okay, I feel like everybody in the room is looking at me like I'm the buzzkill. I'm not? Good, okay, great. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Now, I rock with this one though, bro. This was a solid episode. Big trouble in little... Sanchez. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.